So last week, we had a Google Local Guide tell us about the Local Guide program and its benefits. In today's episode, we are discussing Wikipedia. If you've ever searched for information about people, places, or anything on the internet, one site you would definitely come across is Wikipedia. And for some, they might have even used information from there for their assignment, research work, and so on. Have you ever wondered how all the information you find on Wikipedia came to be there? Well, if you have, I have a guest here today who knows more about Wikipedia and even contributes to it. I'll let her introduce herself and then tell us more about Wikipedia. My name is Pamela Okori Boateng. I'm a media practitioner and I'm an open advocate. Specifically, I'm a Wikimedian. First of all, I would want you to tell us what Wikipedia is. What is Wikipedia? So, Wikipedia is a free online encyclopedia okay. where people, everybody at all, can easily edit or oh. add information on there and where people can access information free okay. and then easy. Wow. Um, do you get paid editing Wikipedia? No, Wikipedia is volunteerism. Okay. Anybody who edits Wikipedia is a volunteer. Okay. You don't get paid as an editor. Of Wikipedia? Yes, of okay. Wikipedia. It is not like a job. Oh, uh, so it's something during you your own do time? out of passion. Okay. How long have you been editing Wikipedia? I've been editing for close to two years now. Wow. Um, Charlie. Two years. <laughs> that's, that's, that's cool. That's cool. And what has been some of the benefits of editing Wikipedia? Okay, first of all, to be able to edit Wikipedia, you need to know the guidelines. Yeah. And then by learning the guidelines, you are able to learn some of the markup language, to learn how to write well. Mm -hmm. Because you don't just write anything Anything. on Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Wikipedia has its own style of writing. Yeah, yeah. And so if you learn how to write well and contribute to Wikipedia, it helps you improve on your writing skills. Okay. And as a journalist, it's been very helpful yeah, when I'm writing. Yeah, yeah. It makes you, it, it helps you also to learn how to research well. Oh. Because you don't just put anything on Wikipedia once again. Wow. Whatever you put on Wikipedia has to be backed by credible facts. references okay. or facts, as you're saying. Wow. So by so doing, you are picking up those mm-hmm. research skills to yeah. add up to your professional life. Yeah. Or if you're a student, you are adding up to your student life. Wow. These are some of the advantages. And one thing is that when you are editing Wikipedia, especially as an African or as a Ghanaian, you are putting content from Ghana yeah, to, the, uh, to the platform. And you're making it easier for, for people, people who are not in world. Ghana to access information about Ghana. That's so we get one. to keep our culture, we get to mm-hmm. preserve our history mm-hmm. on the platform. Wow. So that is how it works. That's, that's, that's a good one in there. Yeah. I learned as part of those who edit Wikipedia, there are instances where people get the chance to travel, to uh, participate in summits and the rest. How true is that? That is very true. Oh. Wikimedia, mm-hmm. as we call it, is a very um, huge community. So there are Wikimedians all over the world. Okay. Mention any country and it is likely you find Wikimedians in those countries. Because okay. they are all working together to make information really accessible. Of course. So okay. there are seminars, mm-hmm. or let me say summits, that is being organized globally okay. for Wikimedians who are working hard to attend meet their colleagues, learn, uh, and then think about the future of the movement. So one of such um, summits is Wikimedia Summit. Okay. It is organized annually. Oh. Currently, as I'm speaking, two of um, our volunteers, yes. if I say uh, I belong to Open Foundation West Africa, oh, okay. as a volunteer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wiki Labs okay. Africa. So yeah. this is from one of our um, projects, Wiki okay. Labs Africa. Diary. So at Open Foundation West Africa, three of our volunteers are currently in Sweden okay. and wow. they are attending Wikimania, which is also an annual event for community members to also okay. meet and then discuss the future of So the it means event. their trip was funded by Wikipedia? Their trip was funded by Wikimedia. Wikimedia? Yes. Fully Wikimedia funded. is different from Wikimedia. Wikimedia is the organization okay. that supports Wikipedia and its sister oh. projects. So okay. they, they finance every project that Wikipedia, Wikipedia does. They also help wow. with you know, um, technical support, yeah. resources and all that. Oh. And have you had a chance to embark on some of these trips? Yes, um, just this April I was able to travel to Germany for wow. the Wikimedia Time. Summit and I represented Open Foundation. Wow, wow. Anyway, so you, you, you were talking about some rules over there. I want us to talk more about it. Can I just wake up and put any kind of information 
on Wikipedia, even if I have an account and I know how to edit and the rest. Uh, what, what are some of the rules that uh, Wikipedia is very strict on, you have to pay attention to, or you have to you know, know before you get to start editing uh, Wikipedia? Okay, to answer that question, most people have the perception that, oh, you can just edit Wikipedia, anybody mm -hmm. at all can edit Wikipedia, which is true. Okay. Uh, Wikipedia does not have rules. They have firm guidelines that you are supposed to oh, go with. Okay. And so as an editor, first of all, after creating your account, you have to know about the subject that you want to write about. Yeah. So if it is about Ghanaian food, mm -hmm. let's say if I want to write about Wache, yeah. I have to search for information about Wache from credible news sources. Okay. So at least you have to get two credible articles or credible news sources for okay. that article. Okay. And then after that too, you have to make sure that those information are from um, uh, platforms that are deemed credible in Ghana. Okay. Okay. So you can find credible information about, like, true information about Wachi yeah. on a blog, yeah. on a website, but you can't use it unless it is on a site deemed credible, like okay. Graphic Online, My oh, Joy Online, okay. and all that. So you okay. have to put that in mind. But also, mm -hmm. as a Wikipedian, you don't edit for money. You don't get paid okay. to edit. Wow. Anything you write about is solely out of passion, yeah. Yeah. or solely out of the need to put out information mm -hmm. there. And I know there are people who take money to edit. There's, there are people who do that in Ghana, and especially they do it for the celebrities. So when you go on Wikipedia, they realize that some of the articles on our celebrities are tagged as um, someone. As, no, no, as is, the article is already there, but then there is a tag on it that seems that like someone took money to, to edit. Do. So they are waiting for people to correct that thing. Otherwise, the article will be deleted. Okay. And the reason why um, you don't have to take money as a volunteer to write is because Wikipedia deals with factual information. information. Yeah. And when you take money to work on an article for someone, I'll you are tempted. Yeah. Yes, you are tempted to even embellish it. Yeah. yeah. Use promotional language and all that. That's true. That's and true. so it is a board on the platform. Okay. Wow. Yes. That is why it is not wow. good to take money to. Wow edit and no matter how you write yeah. when you take money the, there are people who are called patrollers on the platform okay what they do is that they patrol the articles that has been written yeah those under review and those that are already published published okay so they go on there they try to find out are there mistakes can we correct mm -hmm. this and mm -hmm. all that so when they go and they see a particular article that looks weird yeah they get to target easily Okay. So you can never run away. If you take money to edit, oh. you'll be found out, even if it is five years later, It'll three still years be later. Found. And then, when it's found out, it is deleted. Yes. Right. So, uh, uh, based on what you're saying, it means that I can't write article about myself yes, and put it on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> the question is funny. Okay, here's the thing. Um, let's say someone gives you the opportunity okay. to write something about yourself for presentation mm -hmm. you are going to embellish it you're going to write good things about yourself so, you're going to take the negative things oh, out okay. but wikipedia is not an advert like facebook uh, uh, yeah facebook or okay. a promotional platform for yeah. you to do that okay. so there is no way you can write about yourself. yourself if your article has to be there first of all you have to be notable okay okay in wow. your 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 area okay or in the whole of ghana okay secondly Someone should write about you, not you. Write about yourself. <laughs> I see. Because when someone is writing, the person is writing from information he or she gets. Got it. Okay. Okay. But when you are writing, you are going to embellish it. You are going to take out the negative part of it from the whole article. But when I'm writing, I will include everything. So far as it has credible references so, yeah. to back it. Okay. So when you open someone's profile, everything the person has done has been written from the day the person was born to his achievement or whatever that she's been able to do okay. it's over there so, yeah. so what are some of the exp uh, experiences you have sharing about um, you editing wikipedia has there been instances where you put an article about someone there and a the person didn't like it just like you're seeing and then contacted some of you like can you people take it out and those, those kind of this kind of things have you had s such experiences okay no but first of all as a wikipedian when you write an article, nobody knows who wrote, so the person can't come and attack oh, you. Okay. Although I have 
a name that I use over there. Only those in the industry or oh, those no. who yeah, edit platform. would know it is me you, who, who wrote the article. Okay. And you can't attack someone for writing something about you. So far as there are references, if there aren't references, if there are no references, that means you are lying about the person, even though it's true, but you don't okay. have anything to back it, it can't be there. Okay. Remember, researchers use Wikipedia for their research, yeah. students use it, yeah. so everything you put there must, must be backed okay. by a source. Yeah. So, I haven't had any experience with someone coming to me and saying Thank that, you. oh, you did this article, I don't like it. Okay. No, the platform is not for you, it's for everybody <laughs> to add information. That's true, that's true. Yes, but the only experiences, then I won't say negative, but it's part of being a Wikipedian is I had some of my articles deleted oh. when I started out because it didn't meet the, the requirement. For oh. example, I wanted to write about Mami Ufia Konedu okay. of Blessed Memory, the one who yeah. second. She she's quite a popular figure, Plus, although yeah. she's been down for a while yeah. now. I wanted to write about her because of her contribution to the media yeah. landscape. Yeah. Yeah. So I got some information, but it wasn't enough. But I still wanted to write. I went to this up in my mind, I got some key information. Then I started writing about her. I published it. It was reviewed. Then later, it was deleted. I received a message to say that, oh, the article has been deleted. That is not the only experience I've had. I've had a couple of them. But them. still, that just yes. stop you from... No, no, I keep on editing. Wow. Because as you edit, you learn and yeah. you grow okay. the way you write yeah. on Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah. So, wow. Yeah. So how did you get to join Wikipedia, like editing for Wikipedia? Okay, so I saw a flyer on social media, on Facebook, okay. advertising for Wikipedia training oh, by okay. Open Foundation West Africa okay. at Shonko Academy. So I followed and then I went for the training okay. for once. Oh. And then, as they say, it's been history. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Oh, that's that's a good one. That's 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 a good one in there. So it means that frequently there's a workshop being organized for people who edit Wikipedia, who want to edit Wikipedia, right? Yes, yes. We organize. When I say we, I mean Open Foundation West Africa, where I'm a volunteer. We organize um, at least two workshops in every month for oh. people who want to learn how to, how to edit Wikipedia for free. Wow. So we don't charge anything. Anybody at all who can read and write can join us. You don't have to possess special skills or you don't have to have some level of education before you, before you can join. So far as you can read and write, wow. you can join us wow. for our workshops on how to edit. Wow. Yeah. I'm sure I'm sure a lot of people would ask, okay, yes, you just said we organize workshop, blah blah blah. Mm. How do we get to join? How do we also get to learn um, being a part of Wikipedia so that we can also contribute to Wikipedia. So is there any link or website people can visit for them to um, you know, register and then become part of the workshop and then also get to contribute to Wikipedia? Okay, if you want to be part of the Wikimedia movement, you can um, find Open Foundation West Africa on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. Okay. Follow us and send us a message. You can also follow me on Facebook. Pamela Okoye Boateng okay. on Twitter, Pamela okay. Okoye Boateng, send okay. a message, we'll okay. take it up from there. Okay, wow, wow. I, I must say, I have actually learned a lot when it comes to Wikipedia. I seriously didn't know so much as you've shared, and I, I must say, lots of people out there might have also learned a lot, and they will definitely want to be a part. I'm sure definitely the people will be reaching out, wanting to learn more about Wikipedia. So, um, before you go, have you got any final words you want to share with people about Wikipedia? Anything else you want to say? Okay, so before um, before I go, all I want to say is that everybody should join the Wikimedia movement, okay. the Wikipedia family in Ghana. Yeah. Because one thing that we lack as a country is information or resources about a lot of things in the country. Yeah. It is difficult to get information on simple things that people can easily access outside yeah, yeah. for research work, for your personal use and all that. Mm -hmm. So all of you should just join in Wikipedia, learn how to edit. It's very easy to edit Wikipedia, learn yeah, how to yeah. edit and then let's preserve our culture, our history. 
on the largest online platform sure. in the world. Sure, sure. I would like to say a very big thank you to you for making time and then um, educating us about Wikipedia. Seriously, like I was saying, there's so much I didn't know. I thought I could just write an article about myself, just put it on Wikipedia. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> now so you know I'm better. Definitely not, definitely not going to do that. So once again, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you for making time and coming around and sharing with us. Okay, you're always welcome and thanks so much for having thank me. Thank you too. Thank you too. Thank you too. Okay guys, so I guess you've seen or heard how you can actually become a part of Wikipedia. It doesn't really involve so much. It's actually a matter of you dedicating some of the time of yours and then, you know, editing Wikipedia to help put a lot of content, especially about Africa, about Ghana, onto the, you know, the platform. And it helps a lot of people as well. So that's just about it for this video. You can follow um, and get to learn more about Wikipedia or ask familiar questions through the um, information you see on the screen as well as in the description of this particular video. So before I leave, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell also so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it so once again my name is Eshmo Lamte and we are signing out, out.